My name is Alexis Whittington. Uh, I'm from Murfreesboro, and I play a guard. There you go. Yeah. Let's go back to before middle. Mm -hmm. You're from Murfreesboro. Yep. Born and raised. Uh, you won three state championships on that floor up there. So mm -hmm. before you even got here, when you were in high school, what was that experience like playing on this big floor? Mm -hmm. It's what we look. It's what I look forward to every year. It's like what you want to get to. It's like the top, the pinnacle of like. Uh, high school basketball here in uh, Tennessee. So it's like uh, you wanted to end your like season here. You want to end it with three games on here. So we knew like going, getting here was uh, hard, but then keeping winning out here was like even harder. So like I looked forward to it every single year. Like I want to go to Glass House, Glass House, because uh, it's just so significant in like high school women's basketball here. I knew that um, if middle, you know, recruited me and my sister, like. I knew we both wanted to go to the same place. When he offered us, we actually, play, it was right after we played here in the summer. And my uh, head coach from high school called me and was like, coach wanted me to let you know that, you know, you both have like full ride, like scholarships and stuff like that. And we're like, wow, like thanks. Like we even asked you like, so can we post it? Like, because we were so happy about it. And like, there was a few other places like my sister, you know, uh, really liked, I really liked, but it, nothing really beat here. It's like we knew the program, the history behind the program. So I think it was never really a question where we were going. So what did that, what's that like to be in a place where you were able to go to games? Everybody uh -huh. knows you, you know everybody. Yeah. That was honestly a main part of why I came here, like a, like a huge part of it. Like, of course I knew the program and like basketball wise, of course was the main part, but like right after like the basketball aspect of it, it was like, my family's here. Like I know the community, like, what else could you ask for? You know, you, cause you want to play with, uh, you want to play for people. You want to play, you know, with a packed gym. Like we do every single, like, you know, we do almost every single night, like very close and and I think that's why we were so good at home because we had all this support, you know, uh, since I've been here. And I was like, you know what, this is, that's exactly why. Like every single time I have to talk about it, I'm like, that's why, like you say, we can, we shoot better at home or we just play better. It's because of the crowd and the fans. Like I truly believe it. And like, I, and I just know it is. Um, you know, you play with your sister. Yeah. Uh, how special is that to play for you? Oh, it was great. Like we knew going from high school to college, like, oh yeah, we're gonna play together. No matter where we go, people ask, are you guys, we're like, oh, we don't know. But we always knew we want to play together. Like we did everything together, like every single thing, like play, like everywhere we went was together, lived together, everything. And like, even my like fifth year, Amanda not taking it, like it was, it was different, but I feel like it, it made our relationship like stronger because, you know, we relied on each other so long. Then when there was like, we didn't see each other like as much or like as often, we're like, oh yeah, you know, this grew our relationship. So it was. It worked out like perfect. We were all defensive teams last year. Should have been all defensive teams yeah. this year. Why is that a part of your DNA? Oh, because I feel like it's something I can control. Like I feel like all the teams I've been on, like I wasn't the most like athletic or couldn't score as good as like others. Well, what I can control and bring to the team is defense. You know, and I feel like they, you can't have too much of it. You know, and I feel like everybody has to have a role and so I was like well what can I do for the team I literally like I had this thought process to myself like what can I do for this team and defense you know came up like I love defense high school like it was something I took pride in and stuff and of course like it took me a couple years to adjust to like the college game and like um, defending their coaches system and stuff uh, you lose to her, very sad but yeah. you had Savannah yeah everybody gets a year older Coming into this year, mm -hmm. what are the expectations? I think the way we left last the season before and then came into the summer, we're like, okay, we're gonna be really good. I think in like Tess came in, I think that summer and she was and like we haven't had like a strength coach like her um, to really like push us off the like on like in the weight room and stuff. So and then like our like focus and mindset was probably the best like in the summer that I've seen us. Like we all want to get better. We knew what this team could do. We had um, Sav come in, we're like, oh, okay like and then we had the freshmen come in we're like okay like we could actually do be really good this year and that's also the reason why I think I came back for my fifth year is because I knew how good we could like we could be. We lose to Texas Tech in yeah. Vegas uh, how do you how do you shift up? Oh, we after the game we went to the locker room and uh, Matt was the one he was like we're not gonna lose anymore. Like, do y'all agree? It's like, we all like verbally, it's like, yeah, like we're not losing the more. And so I feel like after the Texas Tech game, we were like, okay, like we know what we can do. We put it all together. We're like, we're not losing. That was a mindset. And I feel like with everybody on the same like page, it was easy for us to um, all have like the same goal. You know, you're hurt, but yeah. we come back here and we do mm -hmm. play great. Right yeah. Global, and we beat a ranked oh, team yeah. for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. So even though you were hurt on the mm -hmm. sidelines, oh, yeah. what was that game like? 
uh, everything that I've really wanted, you know, I came here because we do play, like, we play the best of the best. And, like, Coach, he will schedule anybody, anywhere, anytime. He'll say it to you, like, a million times, and he means it. I don't think any of us believed how good we actually were or, like, we could be until we actually played them. And uh, that was the best I think I've seen us play, like, since I've been here. And, like, growing up, you know, your program yeah. to be nationally ranked and put a team yeah. that nationally ranked. What did that mean to you and what was that like as a soccer player? It meant everything, literally everything. It's because you, like, when you have a moment like that, it's like, man, it's what I wish for. Like, when you come play, you're like, man, I want to be on the top 25 team. I want to, like, play all these games, do all this stuff. And when you actually get, like, meet a goal like that that you've had for a long time, it's just like, wow, like, it's so surreal. For me, I was like, man, like, I can, like, if I, like, when I have kids or, like, you know, it's just something you, you don't forget and you remember, like, yeah, I was on a top 25 team. It's just something you don't forget, you know? Go back to Dallas for your last time. Made a uh, great run after the conference tournament. Four for six from three in the championship yeah. game versus Western Kentucky. What was that like for you, that championship game? Mm. Championship game. Uh, the whole, like, to start the thing, you know, I took, I think I took a more personal, like, the thing. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to prove, like, what I can do and just, like, you know, like, I think, felt like that was the confidence I, like, that was the push I needed, the confidence I needed to go into the tournament. Like, we started off <laughs> a little rocky in the, like, first five minutes, and I was like, oh gosh, it's gonna be a game, you know? Like, I knew it was. Like, I, Weston was a good team. Like, they just had a lot coming into their young team. Like, got nothing to lose, gonna come in and play all out and stuff. But we, we knew, like, we worked so hard all season to get to this spot. Like, when it was game time, everyone was like, yeah, like, we will, like, the energy was insane. Like everybody had the same thought process. So I feel like that's kind of what I'm gonna remember like the most is like the team that I was around. And like, I'll remember the game, maybe not exactly what happened in the game, but I like, I'll remember like the satisfaction of it. We go to Duke yeah. and we play Colorado and it's not the result that we want. Yeah. And, and I remember as you're walking off the floor for the last time, you just kind of turn around. And I'm not sure if you're just kind of taking it all in. What was that game like? What were those five minutes um, like? I think the whole, like NCAA tournament and even the last like few games I took like everything in because it was like you're not like even if you do get here and coach it's just not the same like as playing like at that moment you have to look back and be like oh what 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 you did and what the team did and I think that's kind of like what went through my head after like all the initial emotions and stuff like that but yeah you've had five great years here mm -hmm. you played with a lot of great teammates mm -hmm. uh, who are some of your favorite teammates over here Dora was that person that instantly came in and like she was literally the nicest person like so genuine like I don't think I ever met anybody like her and I think that was the difference maker it's like she actually like cares like when she speaks she reaches like she'll reach out like she actually cares about you personally not just because she's like a part of the team. I know playing for Coach Hensel is not easy all no. the time. Uh, your relationship with him yeah. five years ago oh, today, gosh. how is that? Oh, it's definitely developed. <laughs> Coming in, like, um, he would talk to me, he's like, you can do you can do really great things here, like, really great. And I was like, yeah, like, I already knew. And I was like, yeah, yes, coach, like, of course, you know. And then coming in, it, like, so in the coaching aspect of him, like, it was, it was different. Because I don't, I've never had a coach like him. You know, always, he just wanted the best. Like, it, looking back, it's like, he just wanted the best out of you and, like, the most out of you and stuff like that. He's a main reason why I want to be a coach, too. Like, he really is. Like, and, like, I was blessed for, like, five years to get to, like, you know, learn. Like, he would, re like, call me over things. You want to be a coach? Make sure you write this down. Make sure you know this and that. Like, he would do that, make it intentional. And I feel like everything he did was intentional. Like, off the court, he would do anything for us. Like, I honestly believe it. Like, he would, he just calls us, like, if we're, when we're sick or, like, stuff, but, like, checking up on us. And, you, like, I mean, you have some head coaches do things, but some don't. Like, they just leave it off to, like, assistant coaches, stuff. Like, he's intentional with his stuff. So I kind of asked for, like, a better coach that's been around the game, that uh, knows so much about it, that's, um, literally coached like the best and like been around the best to like coach me. I couldn't have asked for it like any better. What's next for you? Oh man, what's next? Well, coaching, I have like great coaches that's gonna help me um, out in the process, you know, get, cause it's, it's hard switching from a player to a coach's mindset. And I, you know, went to Dallas, did the coaching um, conference thing there. And 
great, loved it. You know, you think it would scare you, like yeah, it would scare a lot of people, this stuff, but it doesn't. Like I'm so, like I'm excited for it. And I think coach and our coaching staff really got me like, and this year really got me used to like having to step up in that coaching position and like um, just looking at it that way, you know. And I'm, I'm excited to see what the future holds, you know. Um, I feel like it's going to take you know time to do it but I'm excited because I know that it's like with the people I have in my corner and like the people that I've been around and stuff like that I like I'm going to be perfectly fine with GAing or assistant coaching eventually you know just working my way up because I have like great people I've learned from I can still learn from so yeah I'm excited about it. Do you reflect on your career your time here mm -hmm. is there anything else you want to add anything you want to say to your teammates or, or any family oh, or coaches or anything? Um, thank you to, you know, the community for supporting, you know, me and the coaches for, like, um, making me have, like, passion, more passion for the game and wanting to, like, develop every single day. My family for always, you know, supporting me and, like, being there for, the, like, the tough days and things like that. And just, you know, they were, they seen the good, the bad, everything, you know, and uh, my teammates, you know. Um, I don't think I could have made it through five years without my teammates. You know, my sister being on the team for four years really helped a lot. And my teammates, you know, they keep me level-headed and keep me grounded and keep me like where I, you know, could just be me in like calm situations. And, you know, I couldn't have asked for better teammates these last like few years. And um, I couldn't ask for better coaching staff, of course. Like I couldn't have like learned so much. They gave their everything to me, of course. And, you know, I'll just say, Thanks for the, you know, great five years.